Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. My name is Kristen Richmond, Volunteer Engagement Manager. Um, for this training video, we will be going through how to view, approve, and even help your volunteers upload their qualifications. So um, for this video, I'm going to assume that you've already successfully logged in. Please check out um, our video to help you do that if you are not able to do so. Um, so once you're logged in, this is what you'll see. This is your coordinator dashboard. We're starting out on that scheduling function. So um, when you do have volunteers who have pending qualifications, uh, you'll see it over here in your menu. You'll see qualifications and then in parentheses, you'll see the number of pending um, qualifications from volunteers. So go ahead and click into qualifications. Um, you won't see this. This is my own. I have more permissions on the back end. So when you click into there, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you have the type of qualification here. You have the user's name, um, their response. So, you know, whether or not they have no experience, the little, um, some may even go to like moderate. And then, of course, for the medical ones, they should put their um, credentials in here and then the date that they submitted these qualifications. So um, all you're going to do, um, this might be just a little more time consuming than um, hard. Um, so when you're going to go over here, you're going to see it's pending here. You're just going to click that drop down menu. And so this is a mental health professional and they say they have no experience. So we're going to click not qualified and then just hit OK. And then we're just going to keep going down the line. And now you will have far less people just because um, these are all of the volunteers associated with all of our Nine Health 365 sites. So your list will be smaller and we will be helping you through this. You might see some of them um, roll off your list and that's because we went ahead and went in here and did this. So if they have no qualifications for that, just press not qualified. Um, and let's see. Uh -huh. So it won't show the file link in here for, let's say this RN, she says, you know, she has a, a registered nurse license. So we can click into her profile here just by clicking her name. And then we can go over to her qualifications here. And look, she did, you will see a file link here. So you can just click that link. It's gonna download the file to your computer. We can open it up and we see, yes, she is indeed a licensed RN. So all we're going to do is go back to this tab over here. And then we can go over and we can mark her as qualified because she does indeed have um, her certificate in there. If they don't have their certificate, don't mark them as qualified yet. Um, you can for anything else, you know, if they have event planning experience, you know, mark them as qualified. Um, but if it's a medical certificate, you definitely want to make sure that we have their um, certificate or license on file. So when you click into your name, their name and then qualifications, if you don't see the file link, please reach out to that volunteer and you can get that information. So once you click in there, her email's right there, her phone number's right there, you know, so you can definitely click in and see um, how to contact them. Um, if you want to support them through that, um, you can definitely still support any of the volunteers in uploading their PDF. You can also do it for them um, yourself, um, but they're going to do that right in here. Upload a file. If they have more than one certificate, they will need to combine that into a single PDF and then upload that PDF with their multiple qualifications. So just so you know that as well and then they would just submit qualifications is that this is the exact same place you would do that if they do just send it to you by email then you'll go into that user you'll click upload file you'll upload it and then you'll hit submit qualifications and then we will have on file their uh, specific license or certificate so if you have any questions about that process please feel free to let us know um, our shared email is ve at 9health365.org. Thank you so much.